Hey, uh, good morning. So today is day five. Um, yesterday's video ended slightly abruptly, but um, remember we're learning, so we're using Screenomatic, and that's got 15 minutes. I'm going to watch the timer today, um, but that was the end of the video yesterday. So today we are going to discuss um, Aweber, or the Email Automator, or the Autoresponder, as, as the Americans call it. What this thing does is, um, it's pretty much like a mass marketing email, but you can set it so that it can, it can send a specific um, email at a specific time. You can have as many or as little emails as you want. Um, you can also do broadcast, in other words, one email shot to the whole lot. But most importantly, it's connected into the sequence for us. So um, Aweber, you get many others. You get um, uh, get response. Um, I can't now. I mean, I'll Google it quick. But there's several, but the reason why we're using Aweb is because one, it's suggested. Um, because it's suggested, um, there is a affiliate program. Um, um, convert. Um, uh, Um, so there's various ones. Back to that, we are using that because we can integrate. So before I get to Aweber, so if we go here, you can come here um, under your settings, um, account settings, and here you can attach that autoresponder or your email. So you go here to integrations under settings. And here you can then, there's Aweber. So you just say add new integration. So we've got Aweber connected. Well, here's a whole list that's available. And there's a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Anyway, and then when you go to your funnels, you can then also attach it in there. So when I say attach it in there, that means that once we drive the traffic to our funnel, first page on click funnels those people are going to opt in so they are going to subscribe to us and the moment they subscribe um, click funnels picks up that email information the address and the name and it sends it straight to Aweber so Aweber then gets this email and I'll show you now and then it starts sending out um, regular emails to this person because remember we need at least 10 contact points before a sale occurs um, so we go here to our funnel and then on, you can then on here, settings, um, I'm sorry, see I'm still there, you, you don't go to settings. You go to the first page of the funnel. Go here. First page of the funnel, you can then connect it there, so everyone that lands there then gets the email that gets sent to them from Aweber. Um, it's very important to do it. You can go without one. That means that the, that the emails that will get um, stored into under your account on ClickFunnels, you'll mainly then have to go and email those people every day, which is which is a big story. Um, so the whole point of a laptop lifestyle is that okay. So here you see settings, integrations. So this page connected there it goes to Aweber. Now in Aweber. Uh, sorry, yeah, living the laptop style, is, this is a highly automated thing. You hardly have to do anything. You hardly have to speak to anyone. At times you do speak to people that maybe request to speak, but it's highly automated. They're, or fully automated. And you can really live your life with this thing running in the background. Aside from creating this content, remember here it goes to all our traffic channels. Um, I'll offer then... Uh, points people to this opt-in page, they start getting, they subscribe to us, they get, start getting emails, and in those emails is information about what we do or offer. They then buy. If they click there, it goes to the affiliate order. So you don't handle, this is what they call, you don't handle a cart. In other words, you don't manage the shopping cart. So you don't have to manage delivery and pricing um, and customer service and things like that. 
the people make the sale. Um, people get pointed to the affiliate. They make the sale there. You get the commission. That that person who signed up with you is your customer, as well as a legendary customer. Excuse me. Um, we then get paid and we continue making progress. So in theory, you never have to speak to anyone. It was just um, you just have to find them when you do the audience. But that's when you work on your perfect customer profile. So then. Then getting to um, getting to a web. So this is when you're logging. So they talk about lists. List is is specific. So if you've got different com companies. So here I've got um, tonight's cap. This is our hotel. This is all my other hotel clients for the revenue. This is the conference booking. This is my wife's NGO. These two. Um, so at the moment we're working at uh, at the affiliate sign up. So you can have. You can create, I'm not too sure how many lists, but they haven't stopped me yet, and I'm, I think it's on six. So you then create a list for each offer. If you sell, sell multiple products, you have a customer base for each of those. Um, or if you've just one, you'll just have one list. Um, and then on each of those lists, so if I go here, so we're on this list, we go here, you can then have a separate set of subscribers for each list. Now, it's quite simple. This is just by who it is. Um, ah, yeah, you can just see who subscribed the past seven days, who was added in the past 30 days and so forth. So the past seven days, oh, this is quite interesting. So we're getting there. Um, so where did I get these people from at the moment? You, YouTube and TikTok. So I do TikTok twice a day. Um, I'm getting the best response there. And... So yeah, what I'm doing here is where it says name unknown, I'm just now creating this person's first name. So when he gets an email, it doesn't say dear unknown. Um, now, Weber, we're going to use this list. So this is a per offer or list per company. So if you've got other companies and whatever, you can integrate it all into one. I'm at the moment paying, I think, like $20, so it's quite good value. Um, you can have up to 10,000 subscribers, I think. Um, I'm at 400. It hasn't stopped me yet. So it's pretty good. It's very plain basic. So here's your subscribers that you manage. You can also see who unsubscribed. Um, obviously, you don't want to get them back then because I did add some in here that I got from other lists. You know, we all take a chance, but... It's not the right thing to do. You want to list this few hundred percent people that's interested in that has actually subscribed to you. Even if you start with 10 or 20, it's okay. There's no limit. Over time, I've seen it grows. When I started out, I added 300, 250 unsubscribed. I had about 40. So you can see now we, we're getting closer. And I think this list got 120, which means that extra 80 that came on is interested in what's going on. They haven't unsubscribed. And remember, they get the emails every day. So... They've had any option to unsubscribe and say this is nonsense, they don't want it. So I think we, we're okay. Um, this is three months down the line now. So here it's it's very simple. You cannot add subscribers. You can add them manually. But the thing with Aweber is it's got a double opt-in. And I've tried my best to get around it, but I've given up. And maybe better so. What a dub, double opt-in is, is if you add someone manually in here, it's going to send an email to that person to confirm that they've been added to this list. Now, that list... Um, if they don't know anything about it, they're not going to confirm. The um, other thing is, if someone subscribes, say they they come through our funnel um, and they come and they come over here, they then say, "Cool, I want to subscribe." To subscribe. What Aweber then does is it sends an email to the guy to confirm his request to subscribe. Now the problem is many people don't go and reconfirm because in their mind they've already done it. I've tried all angles. Um, I've tried some said I'm uh, in better page. Some says this. I've tried get response to see if I can get around it. Excuse me. There's no other way around it. Um, so the right thing to do, and everyone says it's the best way and the safest way and to be compliant and this and that, is just bite the bullet. Um, if those people haven't subscribed, at least you got the email address. I then email them from time to time and say, hello, please, please uh, remember to confirm your subscription, you know. If if you for lost that email, just subscribe a second time. Otherwise, I cannot. You know, it's difficult for me to come and communicate with you. Okay, cool. So that's that. Um, then the 
there's lots of reporting. You can see who opened, what's the percentage open rate and all that. But I'm not going to go that now. Just the basics. So I work with subscribers. This is the messages broadcast. This is where you can send one email to the whole database. So once a week, I'll send one thing to someone. Like yesterday, I sent one. Um, uh, good morning. Uh, so first name fixes the setting that you use. Then it'll pick up the guy's first name. Um, so from 121 emails, it's only 13 open. Now, 10 to 20% is a good opt-in rate. That means everyone has opened it. And there's the people who's opened it. Now, um, I'm getting back there. So I just sent an email, um, just, it's to keep top of mind awareness, some, some news, um, it's a message. I just, I just reminded them on the YouTube to say life on the wara wara. Um, a reminder of the YouTube. Um, some guy saying, check this guy made so much of money, you know, but i I don't feel comfortable sending people, you know, throwing money at them all the time. I'd rather just let them see, um, uh, cause if you tell people this guy made so much, you're going to compare yourself against them. I did in the beginning, but I stopped that because, you know, feel, you feel like you're not getting anywhere. So I'd rather work on the value that I send to people and the information that they can get. So this is broadcast message. Then the campaign is the other one I want to talk to you about. The campaign is what the one is going to start sending to, um, um, the campaign is what the funnel will send over a long period of time. So let's go to this one that's currently active. So here, there's, so I can send you this. This is a template that I got. They legendary will also give you a template. They'll give you a 40 day template. They'll also show you exactly how to set everything up step by step by step. That's why I'm not going to do it in here. So, First, when they subscribe, they get this email. Then it waits four hours, then the second one goes. Then it waits two hours, then the third one goes. So everyone's in there, gets it to start off with. Everyone that subscribes, subscribes automatically starts getting this cycle automatically. You see what I'm saying? So it is very, very automated. Um, the setup, the tags, that type of thing, I mean, we don't really use that. I mean, to, to, com to make a mess, to, um, not make to compile a message is quite simple. It's, um, it's very it's very easy. So if I want to do a broadcast, I will just go say here create a message, drag and drop email builder. It's very very nice, simple, uh, easy to use. You can add in videos, a logo, a link, um, or whatever. It's not complicated at all. You can do a coupon, a divider. So like there, first time fix. That's there. Thanks for being Wara Wara. Then you can like, uh, like put in a video there, or you can put an image. Preload these things. Like I've preloaded, uh, preloaded. So I'll put that on the top. See, and then that goes there. And then you can also, um, you can preview and test it before it goes out. Very simple. Here's a subject line. Very simple. Very effective. So some of the items I didn't cover is the integration, the setup, the type of stuff. Many support from them and from Legendary and uh, Aweber is so widely used. You'll find millions of information on how to do it. Um, I didn't really struggle with anything on Aweber to set up. It made quite sense to me. I just um, the only thing that held me back is where to find what button. But I mean, it's like any software. You need to find out where's that thing that I need to do, or where's you know how do I save or preview. It's just the position of the buttons. But I mean, it's all. It's all a simple, plain forward thing. And that is a way. Let me just see here. You can also do a landing. There's various features that I don't really use. Like you can do a landing page if someone subscribes to you. That's what they get. The reporting, the list options. So you can add tags if you want to use one big list. Um, but I have separate, uh, several companies use that list. And you tag each subscriber as to which list he belongs to. But that's I think that silly just creates separate lists. Because quite often people that's here in some of our hotel partners are not interested in this and people that's in our conference booking card is not interested in this. So you don't want to post the people off, let them subscribe altogether. Um, yeah, and that's it. And there's always a dashboard and that's it for today. So today I've got quite a bit of meetings carrying on. Um, remember to check the other videos. Remember to follow me on TikTok. I do a lot of stuff on there. Thanks for watching and have a super day.